so let's see, hey, so welcome to my place, we're going to be doing lots of work, I don't know, just a video at all, so people could see all the things I'm up to, I want to start doing workshops again, once this place is in a bit, bit better shape, some of my projects, I've got lots of, lots of projects going on at the moment, this is just some bamboo that I was growing from from nursery stock, from tiny little baby nursery stock, um, which I bring up here. Here is my water bucket of slop from the kitchen sink. We I wash, I rinse my dishes without any soap and bring the water out here and use it on these plants, which is why I brought them up here. Here is veggie garden to be. Yeah, working on that right now, big pile of mulch. Gotta cut that cut that, move that right over here and suppress some of these weeds. Lots more bamboo here. This is this is how you propagate bamboo when this is a bit bigger. There's some bigger ones behind me, which I will do soon. Cut here and here on a larger stem and um, put, put that in a pot and you get a new plant. Much easier than doing root division on these things. These, these, these are clumping bamboos. Um, which are totally fine to have um, they don't really like in my experience being divided by root which running bamboos are much easier to do these these much prefer stem cuttings but there's a big bamboo over there so I might do some of that again once this weather cools down a bit I tried some in the middle of summer and it was stinking hot now of about 20 only one survived they just got cooked so lesson learnt don't propagate here in summer in fact don't do much gardening here in summer if it's, it's just too hot I think really here you just need to be gardening in spring in winter doing all your work in winter planting through winter and into spring harvest what you can in summer and don't plant again until the end of February Really, it's now early March. It's, it's a good time to be planting now. This is this is the first terrace that we did, and um, the first retaining wall that we had built. There was nothing flat here, so we started to make flat areas. This is really a hangout area, but um, it will be covered in fruit trees, as well as as well as some large uh, nitrogen fixing shade trees as well this these stems here this is banner grass which is from kenya it's a relation to kakuyu it's very very easy to propagate you can just you can dig this up by the root and just divide it or uh, i prefer actually just to to grab a, a stem you can when it starts to get a little bit woody i'll show you what i mean and what i don't mean so that's the top growth which is quite grassy and quite soft and fibrous but down here when it, start, it starts to get hard and almost bamboo like you can take cuttings from from these harder stems and all you have to do is ins make sure one of these nodes is in the ground which it will be down there there'll be a node in the ground and it'll just shoot from there what you can also do with it is actually take it horizontally again this is not 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 from here not from one of those this is the other extreme is that it's too dry to use but we can use it as an example see it's almost like bamboo you can take one of these it probably would still work to be honest there's a little bit of green in there so we can give it a try you can just insert it in the end horizontally cover it and it will actually shoot out of every node okay today I'm just whippersnipping I just run out of fuel so uh, I'm gonna go and do that this is a Tanaka 30cc line trimmer it's quite good I would like a bit more power it's it's okay and i think once i'm through the worst of this project 
it won't be too bad in just maintaining but at the moment it's pretty hard going there's rocks everywhere i have to take a bucket everywhere i go to pick up rocks or make rock piles and then move the rocks later this is actually upside down which means the air isn't coming in and it's trouble pouring there we go So on there, there's just a nylon head, which is just used for trimming soft stuff. I have this thing, which is called a weed whacker, which is made in Australia. It goes on there too, and we'll probably use that later. This cuts straight through wood. You can cut soft green growth on trees up to about 20 mil. I've done um, thicker than that, but it does it does really damage it, and I've, I destroyed my last one. Also, just from hitting rocks, we've just got that many rocks, like I said, that that it, it it really hurts it. The nice thing about this, compared to a solid one, most of them are, are solid. You can get these are uh, brush cutter blades, or and uh, most of them are solid. So when you hit a rock, you get what's called kickback, so the tool jumps back at you, and it, it's it's quite hard on your your arms and your body, and it can be dangerous. So this thing is designed to designed to recoil when it hits, to recoil rather when it hits a rock or, or a solid object, and reducing damage on here and reducing fatigue to your body. It really is quite tiring. So we're going to go back down to where I was, which is the bush section. Um, I'm going to get into here a bit later. I've basically got to clear this entire thing by Monday because this guy's coming to do fencing and then we can really get this project kicked on. There's, um, we have a, a resident wallaby who pretty much makes light work of anything that you plant in here. They just will eat the tips of soft growth so nothing really gets going. The, even this grass, they'll, they'll eat this grass when it's when it's quite young, um, the banner grass, that is. But once the banner grass gets tall, it gets sort of this really itchy, hairy thing going on, and it's quite, it's quite an irritant to to skin for humans. Um, I'm guessing it must be for wallabies too, because they seem to leave it all, leave it alone when it gets a bit grow, uh, a bit tall. So I got quite a lot of rashes moving it around and we had some landscapers working here and one of the boys had to go home because he was so itchy and have a shower he really really didn't like it very much but look I don't mind it and if it keeps animals away that's great stuff's used in Kenya to feed cattle and I believe they only grow up to about a metre tall and then slash it for cattle feed and after that perhaps this this hairy thing going on is, uh, is affects cattle too so it's a bit boring so I'm going to probably turn you off for a minute and then keep going later <laughs>